The demand for answers about Andrew Brown Jr.'s death only intensifying tonight after a long emotional funeral service for him today. Dozens of people went to Elizabeth City to pay their respects and several people, including Brown's sons, spoke about him. I just wish he was here with us. But as much as I'm going to wish and wish and wish all day, it's not going to happen. 13 News Now has team coverage of the funeral. Alex Littlehale spoke with one of George Floyd's relatives who attended, but we're going to begin with Evan Watson, who shows us how Brown's loved ones are remembering him. Andrew Brown Jr.'s family covered his casket in roses, released doves in his honor, and talked about how his name is now part of a justice movement bigger than himself. Andrew Brown Jr.'s emotional funeral service focused on a call for justice, with civil rights leaders and family members once again calling for the release of videos showing Brown's death. Justice may be delayed, but it will not be denied. Reverend Al Sharpton delivered the eulogy. We are going to celebrate him, but we are not going to excuse the fact that we shouldn't have to be here to do this. Sharpton said if Brown did wrong, he should be arrested, not at his funeral. You say warrants all the time, but you don't shoot people in the back of the head. A plane flew overhead with a message that Brown will never be forgotten, and a spirited choir and band led the celebration at Fountain of Life Church in Elizabeth City. <laughs> Brown's son, Khalil Faraby, teared up when talking about his dad, saying he'll continue this movement. We just got to hold him down, do what he would want us to do in life. I love you, Pops. Attorney Bakari Sellers said Brown's death is a product of systemic racism. The systems in this country have to be torn down and reimagined so that they can include all of Andrew's children, all of God's children, and we do not have to worry about as black men and women going out and making sure we make it back home, or even worse, making sure our children make it back home. So, so I want you all to know here today that we're going to stand up for what we believe to be right. In Elizabeth City, Evan Watson reporting for 13 News Now.